today. It's the last day to get these deals. 14,900K versus 7950X 3D in games. Intel accidentally leaked their entire 14th gen lineup. AMD's next gen monster specs. And Nvidia's releasing a full new lineup of gaming GPUs. Welcome everyone to Gamer Melt. First up, today is the last day for Amazon's Prime Big Deal Days, and I have to admit that some of these deals are really nice, so I thought I'd go over some of my favorites really fast, and I'll have an affiliate link to these down in the description below. It won't cost you anything more, and it helps the channel out. Starting things off, there are quite a few deals on AMD CPUs, from the last gen 5900X that's selling for cheaper than ever, to the 7950X is just $509 right now. Then there's a whopping 16 terabyte external hard drive that's just $224. Samsung's brand new 4 terabyte 990 Pro was even discounted, and really, there are quite a bit more deals here. So, I'm going to include a link to all their PC hardware deals, memory, and all that good stuff in the description. Once again, today is the last day. Next up for today, a slide comparing Intel's upcoming 14,900K with AMD's 7950X 3D in multiple games just leaked. But first, what happens when you mix an aerospace machine shop and a razor? Well, the best razor ever made, of course, with today's sponsor, Henson Shaving. And this is the AL-13, a next-level razor that's CNC machined to aerospace standards. Now, that may sound like nothing but a bunch of buzzwords, but it ultimately means that they're able to extend past the shave plane by just .0013 inches. That's what I call tolerances. This stops any kind of flexing of the blade to make for an extreme extremely close shave, while still being extremely safe. Plus, it holds the blade at a 30 degree angle for the perfect shave every time. I have to admit that at first, I was really on the fence about safety razors, but after trying this out, not only did it give me a great shave, but it's so much cheaper in the end. Because it takes regular blades like this, we're talking $3 to $5 a year in blades. I used to spend way more than that on just a 4 pack. So stop throwing your money away and pick up a Henson razor today by visiting the link in the description below. Plus, when you use the code GAMERMELD, you get a hundred free blades. Now back to the story. Known leaker HXL recently leaked what he claims is an official slide comparing gaming performance between AMD's 3D VCash 7950X 3D and Intel's upcoming 14900K. And as you can see, it's a number of games showing some losses and wins. Video Cards actually shows a full breakdown of each game, with an average of 102% compared to AMD's CPU. And I have to admit that it's better than I thought. Of course, we'll have to wait for third-party reviews because Intel almost Almost certainly picked a batch of tests that will put them in the lead. Still, this isn't bad for a refresh lineup. Then again, pricing will be important here, and don't forget that the power draw will likely go even higher for Intel. And speaking of the release, Intel has accidentally leaked their entire 14th gen series of CPUs. It all comes from a document that was sent out to notify retailers, OEMs, and system integrators that there's going to be a change to CPU trays starting on October 25th. That's obviously not a big deal, but in that document, Intel also shared a list of LGA 1700 CPUs that the tray support, and they actually list their entire next gen lineup of desktop CPUs. As you can see, we're talking from the i3 all the way to their i9 series of CPUs, and it's pretty much identical to what we've seen from leaks. There is one missing SKU, the 14900KS, but that's not coming until later anyway. Either way, they're definitely coming soon. Next up, the full specs for AMD's upcoming Threadripper 7000 lineup have just leaked. The story comes from a new post by WCCF Tech, who claims the release is coming October 19th or some other day next week. As for specs, these are said to be some seriously powerful CPUs. Starting things off, they all come with a TDP of 350 watts, so they're definitely not playing around when it comes to power draw. First, we have the 7945WX, which is a 12-core, 24-thread CPU with a base clock of 4.7 GHz and a boost of 5.35. Next is the 7955WX, which is a 16-core CPU with a base clock of 4.5 GHz and a boost of 5.35. 
Actually, all of these have a boost of 5.35 other than the 96 core monster. And there's a 32 core part, 64 core part, and finally that 96 core beast, the 7995WX. It comes with a base clock of 2.5 gigahertz and a boost of 5.15, though obviously these are almost certainly a single core boost. The 96 core part also comes with a whopping 384 megabytes of L3 cache along with 128 PCI Express Gen 5 lanes. They all support DDR5 up to 5200. At the end of the day, this looks like a big jump from last gen. And lastly for today, NVIDIA looks to be planning a full-on refresh of their RTX 4000 GPUs, including the 4090 Ti. In my last video, I actually discussed a recent tweet from a well-known leaker, claiming that NVIDIA was planning to release an RTX 4080 Ti or 4080 Super, and that it would be coming in around the same price as the 4080. That part was pretty surprising, but now, thanks to a story from Red Gaming Tech, it's becoming clear why. According to one of Red Gaming Tech's trust trusted sources, NVIDIA is planning to release an entire refresh of their RTX 4000 cards. So we're talking cards that are quite a bit more powerful, yet could come with a similar price to their predecessor. Not only that, but he actually shared specs of the upcoming cards. And right off the bat, you'll notice that he mentions the RTX 4090 Ti. Now, if you've been following this channel, you know that there were rumors of this card being cancelled, but according to this, it could still be coming. And that's pretty big news because it is a monster of a card. For starters, it gets 142 SMs instead of the 128 on the 4090, so a bit more there. It also comes with the same clocks as well as 24 gigabytes of memory, but according to this, the 4090 Ti will come with a 550 watt TBP, so this is one beast of a GPU. And if it's like the 4080 Ti, we could be getting it at the same price. Then comes the 4080 Ti, which apparently comes with 100 CUs, and that's a big jump from the 4076. The rest of the GPU is fairly similar, but with a higher TBP. Then there's apparently a 16 gigabyte 4070 Ti with a few more cores than the regular 4070 Ti as well as a higher TBP. Then there's actually a 4070 Super, which is clearly in between the 4070 and 4070 Ti. Finally on the desktop side is a 12 gigabyte variant of the 4060 Ti. Not only that, but they're apparently bringing in refreshed notebook cards as well. According to his source, Nvidia is planning to announce these around CES of next year, so it's just a few months away. And I will actually say Say that this makes sense of the rumors claiming Nvidia is not going to release their next gen Blackwell cards until 2025. These are effectively made to hold off gamers until then. And I do have to say that it's certainly looking like a nice refresh. But of course, what do you think about NVIDIA's plans if this ends up being true? Will it make their 4000 series more enticing? Let me know down in the comments below. And don't forget to grab 100 free blades from Henson Shaving in the description below. And as always, have a great day!